Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is September 4th. Friday, September 4th. Got a few things. So if you guys didn't catch the live on Danny Shea's Bathrobe Tarot's uh, live yesterday evening, go check that out. It was a hoot. We did a lot of laughing, especially at the end. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Danny, for inv um, letting me join you. Okay, so we also I also have some barter gifts that didn't come with any names on them. So I just wanted you to know that they, they did come. I can't get that out. But anyways, this is one of them. And then a necklace. So if you guys sent this, let, I'm just letting you know that they did get here. And let me know who sent them. Because they came without, you know, a name on them. Thank you very much for them. I love them. They are beautiful. All right. There's a few things in the works. I've reached out, of course, to, um, not of course, but to Nine's Corner. Nina from Nine's Corner. Her and I are going to plan another live. Hopefully next week, sometime. So I got to talk to her today. Uh, same with uh, Joyce from All Knowing Tarot. She's just kind of busy with her class going on. Her hers and I's is probably going to be more pro impromptu, like a last minute thing. So watch out for that. And I've also reached out to Cindy from Soul Print, and I emailed her. She's a very nice lady. And she, her and I are also going to set up a live. Also, I think it's going to be sometime this month. So look forward to all of that. Yay. All right. So I in my comment section, I had a few people uh, tell me and talk to me about Marie's Table's um, dream that she had. So I reached out to Marie and I told her, you know, a lot of people are wondering about it. And I, she, the people wanted me to read on it. And I told her I would never do that unless I had your permission. So she, she texted me back, yeah, do it. So she gave me permission uh, to to read on her on her dream. So let's deep dive into Marie Table's, Marie from Marie's Table's dream. Now, if you haven't seen her, her video on that, I suggest that you go do that. And before actually you get, you know, before you watch me. Because it it won't make any sense until you do. But I'm pretty sure most of the people who watch me watch her. So I think we're all connected. And let's see. What do I want to do? I want to get... I want to use most of my cards for this. So let's deep down. So in the dream... In her dream, she's watching people around the table make a decision to do something drastic about 45 because he's allowing in her dream in her dream he's allowing you know being to be taken over by russia and they do something about it so definitely go check out that dream give you a little bit more information but let's see what's going on spirit give me some information about marie table's dream let's deep dive into that see what's going on I'm using the Hidden Wisdom Realm. I'm going to draw some cards from there. I'm going to draw some cards from my Dark Mirror. I'm going to draw some cards from my Dark Goddess. These are all cards that really get into, uh, you know, the Dark Shadows. And then, of course, I will clarify them with some of my... Right away, tarot cards. Okay. I'm being quiet for a minute because I'm really, really trying to tap into the energy of the, of the um, dream, tap into the energy of what's going on. So give me, that's the reason why I'm being quiet.
Very interesting cards so far, guys. Very interesting cards. Okay, we have the evil, the eagle king, the big picture, and then we have the colorless angel, the big picture of of the colorless angel, which is, which is forty five, and then trust, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. He's trying to gain that trust. He's trying to uh, do everything he can to be reelected to gain that trust, because he wants to color, trust in the colorless angel. And there's a big um, picture. I've always said this from the from the moment 45 got into office. Given a chance, Trump will sell us to the highest bidder. Given a chance, 45, the demon, would sell us to the highest bidder. With no questions asked. The web, This one here is the web weaver. The web weaver. Making those those webs to for the small people to be trapped in you know like today tomorrow the takeover and purification that one kind of confuses me for a little bit but the lady's gift this is where Pelosi shows up the gilded regret meaning um, maybe she didn't take enough action maybe the gilded regret you know, like, I should have done more, they should have done more, our, our, our country should have done more, the gilded regret. And hubris, hubris talks about coming in and saving the day. Uh, the cosmos, cosmos is the same thing, creativity and vastness. It's like uh, destiny, you know, creativity and vastness, the cosmos. Meaning that, um, you know, how can I, you know, like God, higher power, whoever you believe in, whatever spirit, whatever is involved in the whole situation and forgetting oneself, meaning that lay our egos down to save our country and then um, concealment. You know, I don't understand concealment either, so I'm going to lay down some purification and concealment so if i read these here 45 the tangle webs we weave um you know pelosi's involved in this but also spirits on her side and is going to take care of it if i read this way colorless angel today and tomorrow wants to take over the gilded regret is we didn't stop him or or they didn't stop him and they're forgetting oneself forgetting oneself talks about laying down your ego laying down uh you know Laying down, like in a Marie's table's dream, you know, forget this. So this is not about political anymore. Laying down who you are, what you think you're going to gain out of this, and go do the right thing. Trust, purification, hubris, and then um, concealment. So let's see what this means. Two of Cups, Attraction, Love, and Reunion. The Moon, which is purification and under the moon, fear, anxiety, and betrayal. That's what he's producing to take to do his takeover. 
hubris is the four of cups. Those decisions. Self-absorbed, feeling left out. And the Seven of Swords, beware concealment, of course. The concealment, beware of deceit and betrayal. The Nine of Wands, defend your territory. Ace of Swords, cutting through the truth. The Page of Swords, messages about business. And the King of Wands, a born leader. King of Cups, bringing, a, bringing us a whole bunch of emotions. The Four of Pentacles, Stability, Knight of Cups, and then the Nine of Swords. Interesting. With all of these cards together, this whole story talks about how 45 really would sell us to the highest bidder. However, Pelosi and, uh, and the other people in the government are noticing how dangerous he is and that and that with um, spirit and help of, of uh, other people and the United States, they won't let that happen. They just won't let that happen. They won't let the suffering happen. And I don't know if it's going to be a great big old huge, you know, but something, we have all felt it, all of us readers, because I see it in their readings, I hear it, I don't know if all of them, I don't know if they're all intuitive, I, I you know, I can't speak for all, all things, but I have been feeling it for quite some time, something big, something's going on, something is not right, something is strange, something, you know what I mean, the energy is just not clear it is not you know for us but all I know to tell you guys in the end <clears throat> it's like it's going to get ugly before it gets better but it will get better that's the only thing I can I keep on you know letting you guys letting you know that I do feel the the problems in the air but I also feel the solutions in the air as well it, it's we're at the end Things will get better. We are going to survive this. We are going to be a better uh, country because of this. And not because somebody took took over. So there's that. There's the deep dive into Marie Table's dream. But I'm going to continue on with a couple of more cards. Because now I'm going to ask the question... Um, how is the United States going to feel in November as a whole, as a big country? How is the United States going to feel as a big country? That's not good. Whew, it's going to get ugly before it gets better, people. That's all I can tell you. You have the Three of Swords where the heartbreak is and the tower moments where everything is, is going to get a little ugly. The Page of Swords coming through, messages about business, fertility, abundance. And we also have the Page of Pentacles where the finances are, are going to probably tank for a little while. Hangman, we're talking about surrender and retreat and going in and talking. And, and then the Five of Pentacles, which is financial material and hardship. So that talks about that. The Ten of Swords, where it's misfortune, pain, and 
and stuff like that. So we're it's going to get ugly. But here's the two outcome. Here is the Three of Cups, which is friendship, celebration, and rewards. And then, of course, we have the Wheel of Fortune as the final, final. The Wheel of Fortune as the final. So it's going to get ugly before it gets better, but it will get better. It will get better. And we also have the Six of Cups, which is childhood memories. The Queen of Swords, which is intelligence. And, and getting straight to the point and taking care of us. So anyways, yeah, that's us. That's us in November. It's going to get ugly before it gets better. Hang on to your bootstraps and uh, we will make it through. We always do. We always make it through. All right, let's do 45. All right, so I just been um, entertaining myself with uh, 45's energy, and he truly believes that he's he's trying to hand out a solution for his his base to make sure that they're he he he's not worried really about uh, Democrats' uh, <laughs> votes being counted because he thinks they're going to be counted and counted often. He's worried about the Republicans' votes being counted, and this is the reason why he is telling people to do this. I guarantee you, Democrats don't do that because your vote will be be um, thrown out because it it is, it is an illegal vote. So do not try to vote twice. Um, we all know that we're smarter than that. However, my favorite uh, comment under Danny Shay's video was, uh, "Yeah, don't do that." But you know what, Republicans, you're on your own. <laughs> you do what you gotta do to follow your king. And his ratings were really, really, really bad. I was watching a thing. The, his ratings were not even as good as they were on, in 2016. His ratings for watching his um, RNC was worse than even Bush's back in the day. He, it was worse than all four presidents prior, Republican report, um, presidents before him. It was that bad. It was that bad. All right. Let's go with 45. Ten of Cups, huh? Something's going on. Satisfaction, completion. Maybe that's just the uh, wanting to win. But the Page of Pentacles shows up. Lack of progress and planning. Queen of Swords. Bitterness and cover-up. The Fool, New Beginnings. Two of Wands. Fast movement, the moon, fear of anxiety and betrayal, the six of swords, moving on, the king of pentacles, control and power and discipline, but we have the knight of wands. Huh. He really does think that he's doing the best thing. <laughs> but we have the six of swords of moving on. This is this one. This is outside influences. Gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Five of Cups, pain, loss, and grief. And then the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. Oh, Lordy. Getting into he he is so delusional. He really is. Let's see. Let me get out these. I have, I haven't gotten out my um haunted my haunted deck in a long time. So let's throw some of these. It was this wasn't the fate. This is what 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 Trump was thinking. So don't. This is what Trump is thinking. So this is the fate. These cards right here are going to be the fate of uh, 45. Ooh. Two cards already out. The fate of 45. 
You guys see that picture? This is the fate of 45. And the Queen of Swords is going to help that out. Maybe that's Pelosi. Maybe that's uh, Marie Table's um, dream. We also have Justice showing up for him. The Two of Cups. The Five of Cups. Worry, 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 worry. Emotional discontent. And these are here. He has to he has to do a lot of stuff in order to win. He's not going to. And lots and lots. And of course the five of swords. Five of swords. Lies, betrayal. That's the fate. That's the fate of 45. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. I don't know if I'll be on this uh, weekend. I might do a card reveal, like go through all of my cards so that you guys can um, see them all, so that you can look them up and get them if you want to. I have tons of them. I don't think as many as Johnny from uh, Apprentice, but I have a lot. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys.